audience, welcome. Welcome to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Um, hey, Kendra. Hey, Landon. Hey, Katie. Hey, Thumper. Thumper. Um, I'm just going to like spill the tea here. You're wrong, and I can't fish that's in Stardew, and I mod that's it, mod it away. You know, that's how that is. <laughs> hey, Lunar. How's it going? Thank you for the bits for that, Katie. That's pretty, that's pretty fun. That's what she said. I am a she and I said that. <laughs> yeah, I skipped the fishing in Stardew Valley. Fuck the fishing. Sorry. Exactly. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that you're sick, Lunar. That's awful. Well, hopefully uh, today will make you feel a little bit better because today we're going to get kicked. <laughs> uh, but before we do that, of course, we've got a couple of things that we want to talk about. So I see y'all talking about Stardew in the chat. I'm so glad to see that because we are doing a Stardew Valley Community Day on Saturday. So we're going to start a multiplayer Stardew farm. Um, the way that the multiplayer works in that game is if you have it for Mac or for PC, play with me. So it's like me and three other players is how it works. Now there are mods to increase that. So if this Community Day goes really well and we want to get more people in, then I will figure out that mod. But for this one, we're not going to do all that because... I'm just, I just don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how my computer is going to handle that many people playing Stardew. So I just want to make sure that um, the regular, like, four-person standard multiplayer that's in the game works before we add in more people. Eliza likes your shirt. Oh, thank you so much, Eliza. I'm so glad that you like my shirt. It's, uh, it's easy, but in the style of Neko Atsume. So I'll see all of them. Do y'all remember that game when that game was, like, super popular? The phone game Neko Atsume? For the nails. Oh, yeah. I have some, have some spring colors, spring colors going on. <laughs> Spent like a whole year of Stardew Valley just fishing, so everyone get good, whatever, Thumper. Maybe you should be playing Stardew with us. Are you, do you get the, did you get the farmer role? If you didn't, I think you need to. I know y'all hear little birds in the background. That's the, that's the game going. <laughs> All right, so yesterday's episode of Spare Room was Partners Keep Dropping Our Thread. So this is one of those um, kind of, 101 type of episodes that I've been wanting to do for a while. So um, that's what this video was about. It, it, you know, instead of addressing ghosting from a conceptual standpoint or addressing ghosting from a, like, I, I don't think necessarily when you're dropped that it has a lot to do with you. I think it has a lot to do with the other person. I wanted to address it from the standpoint of like, okay, let's say you do keep getting dropped and ghosted over and over and over. Like it really is, like really is you. <laughs> then um, what's up there? So um, that's what this video is about. Like if you really are getting ghosted and dropped all the time, you think it's you, you think like you're screwing it up. It's, you know, it's not them. You know, it's not just the normal part of RP. Like it really is something that you're doing. That's what this video is about. It's about those behaviors that I have seen cause people to get serially ghosted and dropped. Uh, we name all, we all named the cats after our RP characters when that game was popular. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, oh, you don't like Stardew? Okay, got it. Never mind. I, know. I was going to ask about the birds. Yeah, it's the game. It's the game going in the background. <laughs> so y'all can hear it right now. In the background. Why can't I hold all these threads? Well, you know. <laughs> Probably because I try to do too many other things at the same time. <laughs> All right, so that's that video. If you're interested in, uh, in watching partners dropping threads and some of, hearing about some of the behaviors that I think do contribute to that situation, um, go check out that video. I played Stardew because they featured big, sad, gruff, romanceable man, and that's all I wanted. Okay, well, yeah, that's true. And you can definitely romance um, all kinds of in Stardew. Okay, let's go ahead and get the game going because... We want to get this going because now there's a special channel point redeem. Instead of the regular baby cam that's just turning it on, as you can see, it's already on. It's been on this whole time so far. So instead of just that, what you can do is you can do um, the baby cam channel point redeem. And I'll swap the screen. So I'll make the kittens, the baby cam big, and I'll make the pets five small. So if you spend that channel point redeem today, that's what I'll do. I'll make it big. It'll be big for five minutes. And then at five minutes, I'll swap them back. And it's on a cool down. It's on like a 15 minute cool down. So every 15 minutes, you can get five more minutes of the kittens being. All right. 
<laughs> already, Kendra, already. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now they're big. <laughs> and I turned the light on in that room so it won't get dark on us. Okay, so we got to adopt two pets first in this game. The way that this game works is you can basically adopt and breed and play with these pets. Now I know the way that this menu is, you can't see the menu, um, but I did pop a picture of all the different ones in the in the media chat and the Discord so that you guys can see that. But this game came out, um, this particular game came out in 2002, uh, but the original Cats and Dogs came out in like 1996. So I was like 10, 11, something like that. And I played the hell out of this game. I played every single freaking game. So what do y'all think? I'm going to do a poll. We're going to try to adopt and um, and breed them. But do y'all think we should adopt a cat or a dog? I'm going to set up a poll for that. Put that just for one minute. So one minute, let me know. Do you guys think I should adopt a cat or a dog? And we're going to try to, we're going to, try to put them together and breed them because I've got a mod. So I also downloaded the um, Pets uh, mod, P-E-T-Z-A. And that lets me do a whole bunch of fun things like uh, speed up them growing up and um, automatically make them have babies and stuff like that. And the reason why I did that is because the way that this game works is it's real time. It's real time. So when, you had play when I played this game originally, you try to play with the pets a little bit every day, right? And it progressed with that time every day, just like how like Animal Crossing does. And, if, and the same thing back in the day, we would, uh, the way that we would hack that would be to change the time on the computers. <laughs> but um, Windows 10 doesn't work like that. You can't just change the time on the computer without causing other strange things to happen, like you could back in the day with this game. So instead, we have, um, we have a mod called Petse. Okay, so y'all want, ooh, yes, I did let you buy votes. Thumper says Thumper contributed 200 channel points. The tux is the most precious thing. Yeah, King is King is beautiful. Everybody loves King. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna adopt some cats. So we've got that we can do an alley cat, a black and white short hair. We can actually get a tuxedo in this game. We can get a calico, a chinchilla Persian, a desert lynx, an Egyptian Mao, a honey bear, which is a big fluffy gray cat, Japanese bobtail, a Maine Coon, orange short hair, a Persian, a Russian blue. A Scottish Fold, a Siamese, and a Tabby. What kind of, what breeds are y'all feeling? What do y'all think sounds good? And I'll, I'll bring those out. Honey Bear. Okay, we can definitely do a Honey Bear. So here we go. This is a little boy Honey Bear. So you can see I can pet him. Aww. And you can, you can give him the bottle. Here, drink the bottle. Honey Bear. Oh, and Chinchilla Persian. Okay, let's try to get a girl Chinchilla Persian. There we go. Perfect. So we'll breed these two guys. Do y'all want the bottle? Have the bottle. <laughs> Scottish Fold is also a good one. We're, we're, we're going to go with these two, so we're going to play with these. Tonight. I'm trying to see if I can get them to do something in here before I actually adopt them. But they don't seem to be They do have like actual AI and things like that. Like y'all can't see the the mod because it's built into the menu. Oh hey Bree. Um, but uh, but you can have like there's there's sliders basically for in this mod for how the uh, the pet feels. So the it's energy, fullness, fatness, sickness, catnip, please, horniness, neglect, and ache. So that's what you can do with this mod. Looks like, did you cough up a hair? Oh, gross. Ew. You want the bottle, baby? Young pets especially have to be fed. The sounds bring me back. You played this game before, Kendra? It definitely seems like a Kendra game. Oh, they're loud? Okay. Okay, tell me, listen to that for a minute and tell me how it sounds. I'll turn myself up a little bit. The cats that came with Windows 95? Oh, yeah. I think that was the original one at that time. Okay, well, we're going to adopt these guys. So, what should we name him? 
What should we name um the honey bear? Yeah. And then also what should we name the chinchilla? It's still a bit loud. Oh my gosh. Okay. I wonder why this game comes across so loud. Oh, yep, there goes the camera. <laughs> well, y'all tell me what we should name these uh, these two cats and I'm going to go fix the camera. I'll be I'll be right back. When I come back, I expect to see some kitty cat names in the chat. Okay, I fixed it. It was dragging. It was dragging. <laughs> Baby Chaos, that's the cat name. Okay, we're gonna name Honey Bear Chaos. Okay. And then y'all can't see this, but it, it tells me, um, it has like an adoption pledge. I don't know why that doesn't show, but it doesn't. It says, Every day that I, Karen, play with Pets 5, I promise to give Chaos my Honey Bear love and affection. Promise to feed and play with chaos. I promise to pet chaos, reward good behavior, and treats. I understand that if neglected or abused, chaos will run away. Then I can hear it. Okay, and then for the chinchilla, oh, chaos and order. Okay, we can do that. Order, order for the chinchilla. Am I still too quiet, by the way? And the cat's too loud? <laughs> yeah, the males are from the game. I don't have the microphone on in the chat room. Okay, and we have the same thing for order. Order the chinchilla Persian. Okay, so we've adopted them now. And we can play with them in our little house here. A little bit, the game is powerful. Oh my gosh. Why, game? Why are you so noisy? Yeah, I mean, I know y'all can hear me, but like, I think probably what's happening is when the cat's meow, it's drowning me out. What I assume is happening. So. You can pick up your animals like this and carry them around. Oh, and there's a mouse in here. We can also play them some music. Let's do that. No, I said music on. Stop turning it off, Chaos. Here they can play with this. The cheese out here so that the mouse will come. I think the mouse will come more often if you put the cheese out there. We can turn on the fire. My own personal cat is convinced. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that, Thumper. <laughs> So there's a hairbrush in here, so we can brush our kitty cats. And basically, you can do everything with the kitty cats that you can do with real life kitty cats. Um, this game was awesome. Like I played this game so much as a child, so much. Oh, they're jumping. Oh yeah, I see that. <clears throat> yeah, clip it. Clip it when they do cute things. Alright, so I think I can use this mod to go ahead and make them grow up to adults. Okay, so they're babies. They're not babies, so I can't do that. I think if I go brain sliders, I can turn their age up a little bit, so that they'll be able to breathe. Okay, so I turned Honey's age up. I'm going to turn Snowball's age up to, sorry, um, order. The ordering case. 
Can you go to the backyard? We can totally go to the backyard. Yo, oh, y'all can't see the menu for this, but yeah, we can go to the backyard, beach, the castle, haunted mansion, kitchen, salon, Arabia, Asian temple, circus, snow scene, south season, wild west. Let's go to the backyard. The backyard, we have a stick. Bring the toys back. And in the backyard, you can grow plants. I can remember how to do this. So long since I don't remember. Grow a tool. I'm trying, I just can't remember how. I don't want to accidentally spray them. Maybe I have to get other items first. There's mini games that you can play to get other items. I'll show y'all that later. Oh wait, I think there's the watering. I'm not trying to water you guys, you're in the way. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I was trying to water the tulips. I love you guys. So it still has them in here. Onions. Oh. There's a bunny rabbit. Yeah, you can do mini games in this one. Hello, bunny rabbit. Okay, yeah, you had to water them with the watering can. That's right. Let's throw some more. It is you, Thumper. You've come to visit the kitty cat. Yeah, this game is awesome. There is there is no pet simulators that are anything like the, this one. Like, it's the best. Oh my god, they're going for the camera again. Don't you knock it over. Don't you guys knock it over. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Lunar. And I don't know how you feel about it, but I downloaded Pets 5 because it was the latest one, right? <clears throat> but I think the one I liked the most and played the most. I know on 4 and 5 both, I did a lot of like hex editing um, to create other animals. <laughs> so uh, you could do that in this game too. <clears throat> he is the biggest jerk he's he's not. He is, he is actually really friendly. All of Coke's kittens are super friendly, which is King, um, Oreos, which is the black and white one, Dragon, and, um, and Midnight. That's the all black one. Play three and four mostly, I think. Yeah, I think most people play three and four mostly. Um, five, the AI for the, in this one that we're playing now, five, the AI for the animals, I think, wasn't quite as good, if I remember correctly. But then it has the mini games in it. Um, and it looks the best, of course, because it's the most modern one, so... But I think most people probably played three and four the most. Did you guys ever play um, Oddballs when that one was out? <clears throat> I played Oddballs too. That one was really cool. Oh, the mouse is here too. Run away, mouse. This kitty's gonna get you. So here's what I'm gonna do. The sliders to turn up their horniness so that they'll breed. Hopefully that will make them. I've never used this mod. Like I never played like modded pets or anything. I just hex edited the pets themselves and downloaded other people's hex edits. Um, so I don't know much about this, but we're going to try to use it. Okay. Let's go to the, let's go to the beach. Oh, here's a fish bone. Oh, and a frisbee. Can we throw it? Yeah, throw the frisbee. Your pets do tricks out for them to see. That one likes the frisbee. Get it, Chaos. Wiggle. 
But yeah, I don't think other than the pet series that there's any, like, pet simulator games that really have, like, this, you know, level of realism and personality in the animals. This is, like, where it's at. And nobody's ever made anything since. And this game came out in 2002, so it's pretty old at this point. Now, I know there was other, like, things in the Pets franchise later for, like, the DS and some stuff like that, but they weren't the same. Like, they weren't the same at all. Um, they didn't have... they weren't like this. Maybe they'll start purring. We're gonna get them some snacks. Go to the kitchen. It's time to eat. One of these is for dogs. I think this is cat food. Yeah, and this is dog food. We don't need the dog food. We just need the cat food. And these games came separately. Like, cats was a separate game and dogs was a separate game. And then if you installed both, then it became pets and you could play them both at the same time. Ooh, let's feed them the turkey dinner. Some leftovers. we go. He's eating. Oh, it was behind the baby can. Bring over here. Order's eating. And I think the way that this game worked, because it was like real time, when the animals breed and they get pregnant, it's like they're pregnant for three days. Okay, here we go, Thumper. Boom. Five minutes of real life kitties. Uh-oh, they're doing zoomies. It's running time! Oh my gosh. It's mesmerizing. Watching the kittens. <laughs> Those two that are running right now, Kings, King and Midnight, um, they're the two biggest boys. They, they're the, they got, um, they got big the fastest, they met all their milestones first, they started eating their hard food first, um, yeah, they're definitely the older ones. <laughs> it's funny watching the real life cats, but then we have the meows from the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad that the kittens are really fluffy because Coke and CJ are really fluffy. Ambiance, exactly. When is that? Is that midnight or is that king about to knock the camera? <laughs> I IRL cats are the only thing getting Eliza to sit still. What? I can't believe Eliza's sitting still for anything. That's amazing. Uh oh. Get those roaches. Kitty cats. I think King's behind the camera at midnight. Oh, okay. I think you're right. That's how it was. That's okay, Thumper. This is definitely um, a game in a situation where the lag is okay. You'll sit still for cats, the lady. The lady bug. Never heard of this.
<laughs> Miraculous ladybug. Oh, that's a cartoon, right? I think I've seen some of that. Not I've seen I've seen the trailer. I've seen like pictures of it, but I've not watched it. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, it's a French cartoon. Hello, Pip Pip Cheerios. Happy to have you in the stream. Magical girl for French people. Well, that makes sense. Doesn't it also have a cat boy in it? I feel like I've seen that before. There's like one character that's like a black cat and it's a dude. And he's one of the magical people. Mm -hmm. The moms are very fluffy. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely thinking of the right thing then. <laughs> well, of course, Kendra. Oh, Katie, I mean, you're coming to get one, right? It's only a couple more weeks. First weekend in June. There's one more weekend in May, and then that'll be the weekend. The next weekend will be time to, to give them up. Get them to new homes. Oh man, Screamer just got king. Good. Uh oh, somebody's about to knock the camera over again. I scooped five litter boxes already. <laughs> oh, I understand, Katie. Oh my god. Open, oh, there goes the camera. Okay. <laughs> right on time for it to switch back to the game. Good job, guys. How many IRL kittens do you have? Um, right now, there are those four kittens and the two moms, so there's ten cats in there that we're fostering, basically. Um, I'll tell you the story about the cats. This, this is like the cat stream, but let me go fix the camera first. I'll be right back. Knocked it over, they lose it. Oh, I know what that is. Okay, I'll be right back, y'all, to fix that again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes, this is cats, Jane. Okay, so here's the story of the kitty. Plant. We um we have two cats already, right? But there's a whole lot of stray cats in our neighborhood, and sometimes we them, and we play with them all the time and stuff like that. So two of these stray cats, these are two of our favorite ones, Coke and CJ, decided it was time to come in the house about um two months ago now, I guess. No, no, almost three. No, like three months ago. Yeah. We're like, this is great. We love these strays. We'll go get them fixed. We'll get them adopted. This will be awesome. Okay. So then, <laughs> then everybody in my house got COVID. My roommate actually ended up in the hospital. He just got home. He was in the hospital for two months um, because of complications. But he just got home. He's going to be fine. Um, that's a whole other stream. If you want to find that, VOD's on my YouTube channel. It's one of the Final Fantasy streams. So I can tell all about that. Um... And then, so obviously we never went and got them fixed or anything like that. 
so then what happened was by the time we were kind of better with COVID and might have been able to get them seen by a vet and fixed and things, we realized they were pregnant. So now we have a whole bunch of kittens. <laughs> and that's how we ended up fostering a gajillion cats. It's bugs. These are bugs since we're in the kitchen. It's mice if you go in the living room. <laughs> yeah, Jane, this game is great. I love this. Uh, pets and uh, cats and dogs and oddballs too if you played that one. These games were the shit back in the day. Okay, let's go somewhere where we can do a mini game. I'm pretty sure if we go to the fantasy castle, we can do it. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Mochi. Oh, Jacob, hey, welcome. Okay, so I think if I go here... Okay, I have to put one of the pets away to play a mini game. So we're going to play a mini game with order. Sorry, Chaos, we'll play one with you later. Okay. So I don't remember these mini games like very much at all, so hopefully it'll tell me how to play. Don't be sad. Okay, so rock, pa oh, it's rock, paper, scissors. Wait. What? So I lost. I think you can win toys if you do this. Um, we used to have about 12 cats, possibly more because a lot of them lived in the large brush piles outside. I feel like there's probably about 12 cats in this neighborhood. I won one. That was a draw. Oh no, I lost. I win. Okay, and I unlocked a new toy. We got a night light, and we got... What is this? Oh, jump through a hoop. Okay, I want to bring chaos back out and we're gonna go back to the kitchen i think that's where the treats are and i can open the right cabinet to find there's a bone yeah and there's treat <laughs> i like that exclamation point katie there that's awesome Jim. okay there's a treat for you guys Right now we only have one cat, his name is Bubbles, it's solid white. Oh, very cool. We have a um, solid black cat named Queen. Wow, I'm late to the party, what game is this? This is Pets with a Z, P P. -E. I think. I wonder if I can, yeah, I can use this mod to actually make them mate. So let's do that, because who knows when they'll actually do it. They have an AI of their own, and um, they don't always do it on their own. It says they can't mate. Perhaps one is too young. But I thought... I thought I made them old enough. Order has achieved a perfect state of happiness. Oh, that's nice. I guess... I guess they were all the way happy. I don't know. Oh, chaos has achieved a perfect state of happiness. Okay, well, I definitely made them old enough. The best game ever made. Yeah, this really is the best game ever made. Freaking awesome. I'll play the hell out of this game. Every day. I'd check on my pets every day. <laughs> because that's you jane this one is named order and this one is named chaos you don't get them get them okay maybe i can mate them now there we go. 
Okay, so when you mate them, it says ordering chaos or expecting a new kitten. Look for it to arrive within a couple of days. So in reality, this would be like a real couple of days. Like you'd have to play for three or four days and then they would have the kittens. We need, we do need googly eyes if cats in real. Almost name one chain. <laughs> <laughs> so I think let me see if this okay so here's the nursery bring them back is there a thing I can, in this mod where I can make her have her baby if that's something that if I can make the babies grow up there's a checkbox for babies being born instantly but I already mated them so that's already pregnant but I think since since she's already pregnant it's not going to work out for them to have the babies we can go adopt two more and try it again and have the babies Let's see. I want y'all to see the baby kittens. I didn't do this mod. Okay, so I had to go into the settings. And I had to mark baby should have been born instantly. So that's what I should have done. Make that work the way I wanted it. Anything I can do to fix it without adopting. Yeah, or order is the chinchilla Persian right here. And chaos is the honey bear. It feels like a lie. She's a mess. <laughs> I think we did name them opposite of what they should have. I make the game faster. I know y'all can't see the mod, but that's what I'm messing with right now, to try to see if there's anything that I can make her go ahead and have the baby without kind of starting over with mating. Okay, okay, swap time. Here we go. More IRL kittens while I figure out this mod. Yeah, I think I might have to go adopt two new ones. Okay. Sorry, chaos in order. We gotta get we gotta get new chaos in order. Um, make this work. I want everybody to see the babies in this game. Why aren't you going away? Come on, guys. Why aren't you going back in? That's what's supposed to happen. Go back to the adoption center. Play. You would never know they knocked the camera over twice. <laughs> yeah, I guess they used up all their energy. Okay, let's try that again. We're gonna do, okay, a honey bear and a chinchilla Persian. Oh, that's not gonna work. Gotta get a boy honey bear. Well, anyways, I think I can. Next chain. Okay, so honey is now. Honey bear's now a male. That's a dog. Chaos 2. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. That's fine. Order to, it popped up and told me that I already had pets, so it was concerned about me adopting. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this again. So we're going to do making sure that, okay, I'm making sure babies should be born instantly. And then let's change their age to make sure that they're old enough to have babies. Okay. Get the little congratulations. 
Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, and then we're gonna make them. Why did we go to the nurse? Come on, guys. That's already pregnant. Hmm, it says she's already pregnant once again. Okay. Then why don't I see the baby? The music is hype, yeah. <laughs> That's the music it does when you get little achievements and stuff. My favorite color on cats is orange, reddish things with a smidge of white on their bellies and the tip of their paws. Aw, that sounds really cute. Seems the IRL kitties are ready for bed. Bedtime. Hmm. Who is it? Is There was somebody. Alarith? Was it Alarith? Were you telling me you knew how to make this mod work? Now I can like I'm trying I wanna I wanna show that part of the game off. But I don't know how to make babies come. It wasn't you? Okay. Somebody was telling me that in dis in the Discord. I just can't. Remember. <laughs> Game's new to me. Very random. Yeah, it is really, random. but I like it a lot. I wonder if I have to close the game and restart it. Put these guys away. Let me put them away for some. Let's do this. Bring out the original. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, y'all can't see this, but it says, Order and Chaos are proud new parents. There's a boy that looks like Chaos and a girl that looks like Order. So what do we want to name them? Um, what, we got a little boy and a little girl, and they look just like their parents. Uh, so what do y'all want to name them? Oh yeah, I never read Warrior Cats. I think those were really popular um, when I was a bit older for them. Zen and Harmony. Oh, I love that. Okay. We'll make Zen the little boy and Harmony the little girl. Okay. Here we go. We've got little kittens. Oh, wait, you can't. Yeah. So we've got the mom and her two kittens. And you can see they like have their eyes closed and everything. They're like real kittens. <coughs> if they'll drink the milk. <coughs> yep, they will. Or high whittles any too. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those games that you can't really win it. So it's great like I did drink in this bottle. It's hungry. Then it's hungry. I knew at some point during the stream the um babies would Glad I put a little 
that turns a light on, and I would be sure to be able to see when it got dark later. One of the big things that was really fun in this is like keep breeding and keep breeding like generations upon generations to try to get like certain looks and things like that because it was a very complicated genetic game. Very, very complicated. Sounds are very mean. <laughs> I have no idea. I assume that these are humans making these sounds and not actual cat sounds, but I really don't know. Don't know. Mystery. Human pretending to be a very strange. <laughs> Oh, Kendra, by the way, um, are you all moved and everything? Is everything going good with that? I know last you updated us, um, you were still unpacking a bunch of things. <clears throat> I remember last stream you were like, oh, gotta go unpack the computer, it's time to go watch the stream. That amused me. Let's put the kittens in the bed. Oh, no. Should go in the bed. Thought, guess not. Sorry, Zen. Thought you could go in the bed. This baby's way littler. Like his mama. This is little like the mom. And this one's bigger like the dad. Oh, it opened its eyes. Looks like I have an option here in the... In this mod to make the babies grow up. We're still setting up. My desk has been ordered, though, so fingers crossed we can... I believe in you. I believe in you and your internet, Kendra. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> oh my gosh, you crack me up. It was not Zen. <laughs> yeah. You should absolutely add a talking cat. I think that's a wonderful idea, Cheerio. Day stream is a test. Oh, like if you can watch the whole stream without it like crapping out on you or like slowing down or whatever. You can watch this while Eliza's on Netflix and I should. Oh, yeah, that is a really good test. Really, really good test. You can both be on the internet at the same time without things going. Crazy. Yep. Good idea. <clears throat> I'm gonna get out the auto rolling ball. The so mom can have something to play with. And I don't think it'll work to actually show it on stream, but uh, this game also has a screensaver feature. Basically, you can change it so that the pets are just on your desktop and uh, they'll just run around your computer instead of inside these. It looks like looks like the baby can play a lot. I'm gonna move the oh not me. Baby can't. I'm gonna move it to the this corner. I don't think there's a lot going on. Mostly in the bottom. Oh, I've got my fingers crossed for your internet, Kendra. It will work. Everything will be good. And you'll have better internet in this new place. Okay, I think we have watched the babies enough. I'm going to go ahead and make the babies. Okay. All right, they're adults. We can see what they look like as adults. They look a lot like their parents. Okay, so we're going to go to, let's go to the Haunted Mansion. There's another mini game. I think. Yeah, I gotta research. 
Yes, I do. Open it back up. The game doesn't realize I'm cheating. <laughs> so let's bring out chaos and order again. Yes, I know they can be out on their own. That's why I went to the haunted mansion. So. Excuse you what, Kendra? Okay. Instead of order and chaos, let's bring out Zen and Harmony. Oh, because it's... Okay. Let's put Harmony up. Let's play... The OG cats didn't have these. Yeah, I think this was a feature they added in four. Um, and then it's also in five. I think. I don't really remember. It's supposed to let me play a mini game, but I don't. I don't see it. I'm supposed to be able to click on this guy, but yeah. Oh well, we'll just bring out Harmony and let them run around. Oh. Okay, try again. <laughs> Got it wrong. Oh, it's a Simon Says. I see. Green, blue, orange. It's out the way, kitty. Oh, am I supposed to drop the cat on me? I don't know how I'm supposed to play this movie. <laughs> okay, one more try. Well, I guess it's the we have to I have to supposed to make the cat go there. Well, we're not gonna do all that. Let's go to the salon and play dress up. They got the nice wire brush in. If you stay in here for an hour, the clock gives you something special, I think. Really? Oh, I didn't remember that. I mean, I literally haven't played this game since the early 2000s. Probably the last time I played this game was maybe like 2003 or 2004 or something. Cats like to get washed in there. That's not. <laughs> um, like, I really do not remember. Whoa, disco. Okay, we've got all kinds of little, excuse me, little outfits we can put them in. This is one thing that I, that I remember. I'm glad you remembered it. I mean, we're not going to stay in that room for a whole hour. So that's kind of boring for a stream, but uh, I think that's good to know. Most of my memories of this game consist of, like, breeding all the animals and, um, also <clears throat> a lot of, uh, a lot of hexes. We're gonna put this little pink outfit on Harmony. That seems... I never do it because it was boring, but I did remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it sounds pretty boring to, like, sit in the same room for that long. Um, I wouldn't do that. Saw them. Meow. 
There we go. There's some people. Put those on. Oh, wait. No, that's hearts. There's two. There's not. How do we want to dress then? Got lots of options. We want to dress him up. <laughs> yeah, they got all kinds of outfits in. What are these? I don't know what those are supposed to be. I guess elephant ears? Oh yeah, they're supposed to be Oh, they in the tub. Okay. Let's give you a wash. Wash you off, you cat. Guess you decided it was time for your bath. I think we're gonna make Ven into a wizard. He's gonna put on his robe and wizard hat. Oh, better. Like. <coughs> Didn't mean to call you, sorry. Oh, no worries, Cheerio. You are good to go. We are a writing community, so there might be some people that um, can help you out with some of that stuff with the children's book we're talking about, but we're mostly role players, so um, I don't know if you'll find too many people interested in that um, genre. Maybe reading it, but I don't know about writing it, but I don't know. Maybe. Okay, now Zen is a little wizard. Yay! Here you go, Harmony. You can have more bathing. Alright. Let's go back to Honim. I think I get what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to call them over. Okay. Because... Purple. Oh, it ran on the red one. Yeah, that's mostly what we're what we're talking about here. Come on, a little bit farther. There we go. Aw, failed. <laughs> I tried that lunar and it didn't seem to work. Oh, I can just do it with her, like this. Okay, I think that did. Oh. Orange. Oh. There we go. Oh yeah, I got the loves treats. Oh, you can have one too. Here you go, kitty cat. A treat harmony. <laughs> these uh these love treats will make them more likely to be interested in having bibbas. Okay, let's bring your brother back. Go to another seat. Let's go try Arabia. The vase is a mini game, but there's also this. I can't remember what this lamp does except for make funny noises. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put harmony up. We're gonna try the mini.
What? Am I supposed to catch the... Oh, I see. Yes, I am. I'm not supposed to let them get... Are we in? Ooh, we got some paint. Can we paint him? We can so paint him. <gasps> I'll be red. Red. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that one again. That one was easy. What else did you Ooh. Dog treat. Oh, hey, it's Jones back from his desert adventure. Kind of like the bunny and PC that's in the um, backyard. Wow, they fight. Dislike. Ding. Let's bring order back. Maybe y'all behave if mom's around. Oh, I didn't know people are keen on fanfiction.net. It's hard for me to even remember about fanfiction.net, but AO3 is really popular. <clears throat> That's really, you know, thing. AO3. Oh, thank you for the howl, Lunar. Let's do that other mini. Oh, Jones is out here. It's not going to let. So let's go to the salon. Wash this red paint off. How we do it? Hmm. <laughs> Play with that sponge. I don't remember how to get the paint off of them. <laughs> I know you can get a couple different colors. Oh, Katie, I missed that you did the screamer one a little bit ago. Was that while I was stepped away fixing the, um, <laughs> fixing the camera? The house startled you? Easy. I'm gonna put these socks on. One on each side. Oh, you got socks on, order. We find our forum section. Oh, I didn't know that. Did not even know that. Oh, there's a wedding veil. Forgotten about that. It's not coming off, though. There we go. Okay, let's swap that bow. Here we go. Let's go to the snow scene. There's coal in here for some reason. <laughs> Ride the sled. I guess everyone I know is really just role playing on Discord right now. You know, it's such a it's such a popular platform for it. I do miss my forum day. Oh. 
Who's mm -hmm. this one? The sheepdog. I don't know what his name is. Will the mod tell me? Oh, it's Rufus. <laughs> don't y'all fight him. Yep. Or I spent a, many, many years on doing forum RPs. I think I started out doing like chat room RPs on Yahoo and AOL, which just shows my age <laughs> in those chat rooms. But um, I moved on to forums. I also role played on Live Journal and Guy Online, and then um, later on Tumblr, and now Discord. Well, why y'all fighting? They should not be doing that. No fighting. No fighting. I always feel bad after I do that, so I give them. There you go. Here you go. Totally like latched onto my hand. That's hilarious. <laughs> Come on, kitties, will you do a trick? <laughs> okay, here you go then. That was cute. Yeah. You could also like mess with this game and put your own songs in the music box. And I switched it out. I remember when I played this game, I switched it out for like all Backstreet Boys songs. I had all that. Every time I'd open my music box, that's what it would do. Play like Backstreet Boy songs and Spice Girl songs. You would totally add all Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> yeah, if you're playing it now, right? Taylor Swift songs were not a thing though in the early 2000s. She was it? She was wasn't even um doing country music yet at that point, was she? She was not. I don't know how old Taylor Swift. Is. <laughs> I can't remember what her age is to know if you would have been too young at that point. Okay, let's. Where's the scene? What's the scene we haven't seen? A scene we haven't seen. Let's go to the South Sea. This is another beat. Different one with pirates. Oh, they wrestling. Hey, Peg. I thought she could find. I thought she could get, um, like pirate treasure. This is. Hey, Kai. What you do? Cause there's like cool things to do in each one, but going off a minute. Okay, let's switch to the. Oh, be the tooltip. The shaky. Boom. But when I'm in this. Now we can have infinite confetti balls. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Ringmaster Bailey. Uh oh, do you have the hiccups, Porter? Sound like it. 
had a short story topic on my forums is based on our peers who wish to write their own little adventures and for their own as long as it Oh, that's cool. Yes. <laughs> Man, since basically forever, I've been playing games that are like simulation games that like are designed to play a little bit every day, you know, that sort of thing. like this and like Animal Crossing, you know, The Sims, stuff like that. I want somebody to make an pets that got the same speed. I think that would be so cool. We could have something that like modernized with. Uh, modern AI and graphics and things like that, but still with like the personality, the breeding, and all of that stuff. Okay, let's get heads in out for a while. Let's get. Chaos back out here. Hey, Chaos. How's it going? Rush. Have long fur. There's a mini game on this one. He can. Okay. Let's let Chaos play this one. Oh, they want the pets to do certain tricks, I think. That's not going to happen. Let's go back and do the easy. <laughs> this. Oh, olive tree. That's right. Help me win. Good job, Chaos. carpet. So this game had other carpets too. There was also like a love carpet that would like increase their um, chances of going and having babies if you pulled that stuff out. Yeah, it's really cool. Like I said, I would play like for a little bit every day and I would breed the pets and that was like back in the day when everybody had GeoCities websites, right? Like there wasn't social media or anything. What there was instead is everyone had a GeoCities website. And um... So I had like a, of course, a, a pets GeoCities website that showed off all my pets and everything in regards to like how I was breeding them and hex edits that I had done and showed off all of those things. Gosh, I know. But nobody really does that anymore. Now you would just set up like a Twitter <laughs> with a card page. And that would be all you'd have to do. But before it was very intricate. Oh, did I not get anything? Oh, it's Pharaoh. Corsets? What did I say that sounded like corset? I don't know. I don't know what I said, but I didn't say corset. <laughs> Sorry. 
You can tell me about corsets, but I can't say I, I know much about them. <laughs> Break my heart, I guess. Yeah, I just have to, you know. But I don't, I don't know anything about corsets. I'm sorry. They are pretty. Yeah, that's true. But I think I've only, I don't think I've ever really worn a real corset. Maybe once I've worn something kind of like a corset, because strapless bras don't work for me, so. I've done that. And quick to sew the baseball. I definitely don't know much about sewing. I did take costuming in college, so at one point in my life I knew how to sew very briefly, and then I forgot it all. <laughs> Are the actual real life babies still sleeping? Yeah, it looks like it. They were all small up there, so I wasn't sure, but it looks like they were. Oh yeah, we haven't showed Wild West. Oh, this one has a mini game too. If you click on the gopher, well, let's put up. Sorry, I didn't mean to drop you like that. Sometimes the depth perception is hard to see. Okay, have harm out. Let's see what this goes like. Oh, tic tac toe. Oh, that's wrong. But that's where I want to put my X. I don't understand. Why can't I put it there? What? That is definitely a valid move. Make any sense? Be able to put it where I want. Put it. Go. Well, he did because it wouldn't let me do the move I wanted to do. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, you're catching out there, cat. We have all indoor pets. Oh, I get to go first this time. That is not where I wanted to put it. Don't give me that. <laughs> it won't let me do what I want to do. Not dropping it in the right spot or something. There we go. Leave it in because not like I guess it's all about where my cursor is when I drop her. That's how it. That's how it goes. Okay, one more time. We're gonna we're gonna get. I think I understand how it's choosing where the X is now. I'm gonna try one more time. I think I understand. Go. Yeah, I got it now. It's gonna be a draw. It's gonna make me think. <sighs> okay, it's okay, because I'll go first next time. Okay. 
Here we go. Draw again. Yeah. Yeah. Say I for this tic tac toe is too small. Never gonna make a mistake, is it? We're just gonna draw every time. Yeah. Oh no! Hard to get water out this. That's Oh, you can have custom scenes in this game too, but I didn't. I don't haven't downloaded that. But there's an editor, so it's you can't see the prompts, but there's Windows prompts that walk you through creating the. Where basically you choose an image, and you define where the horizon is on the image, and where the ledges are. Um, it gets kind of complicated. All the prompts that we can get next thing, so I'm not gonna. How many years have you been role playing? Um, I guess I started role playing when I was like 11 or 12 or so. And pretty much always since then, I did take a break when I was in like end of college, beginning of my career, because I was just too busy for it. But otherwise, I've pretty much always been doing some kind of RP, whether that was um, in a group, one on one, playing uh, tabletop games, things like that. Pretty much always since. Then. We're going to go back to the back. Let's get out. Got chaos and heart. Honorary thumper. I didn't mean to water you. you just happened to be there. Sorry. have you been role-playing to you guys i feel like if you're role-playing on fanfiction.net it must have been a long time because like that website is so old at this point you know that was popular back in the day that website was popular back when this game came out <laughs> and while this game was popular ao3 didn't really exist until later it didn't exist until after that live journal the live journal strike through Karen, what's your latest TikTok guilty pleasure? You know, I haven't opened TikTok in a long time. <laughs> I know I probably have like 20 messages from you on my TikTok, but um, yeah, I don't know because I haven't opened it. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure, but maybe get, I can open it up and see one of the cra some of the crazy ones. In years. Yeah. Um, uh, that makes sense, for sure. I mean, it's, it's hard to keep going and not take... Do I need to send you the Mario Land cosplay? Repeat. Who unalive? Yeah, <laughs> send that to me. <laughs> send that to me, Kendra. Oh. 
hope the mouse is there. Go get it. Get that mouse. Yeah, send it to me, Kendra. My phone. I left my phone out in the um, out in the kitchen, so I'll have to go check it after the stream. But I'll watch it later. Really, this um, this past week or so since Jeff has finally been home, we've been really spending evenings, you know, with him. So I haven't really been chatting too much or looking at TikTok or anything. I've basically been hanging out. We've been watching me play Animal Crossing because I can do that, you know, while hanging out pretty easily. So that's really what I've been doing for the past week. We watched a lot of movies that came out while he was um, in the hospital. Like we watched. Um, the Snyder Cut of Justice League, it's awful. Don't bother. Don't waste your time. <laughs> uh, making that movie four hours did not make it better. It's still bad. <laughs> um, we've watched... Oh, if y'all haven't seen Mitchell's vs. the Machine. Hilarious. Um, really, really good animated What's really great about it is that, you know, they don't really make movies anymore that are, like, original. You know, like, they're always remakes or or um adaptations but this was like an original movie that was like just good oh oh man naruto has been around for freaking ever but yeah i would say when naruto very first got popular that totally that makes a lot of sense yeah Yeah, I used to do a lot of fandom role plays as well. I've done Once Upon a Time and Disney role plays, done um, Vampire Diaries and the Originals, a lot of those, um, Supernatural one, uh, Harry Potter, lots of Harry Potter role play. Lots and lots of Harry Potter role play. Yeah. All right, y'all. I think I've had about enough of these X games. Does anybody want it? Does anybody want five more minutes of the babies on the big screen before we do our Pokemon meme and uh, and move move on? Still confused about the difference between Hogwarts and regular high school upkeep according to the. Yeah, Kendra, I don't know. I don't know what you, what what that's all about. <laughs> to me. Hogwarts RPs are high school RPs, like the ages that, that the characters are is middle school. So, I don't understand. Okay, we're going to do a free baby camp flop. So we can watch them cuddle and sleep a little bit. And then we're going to do the Pokemon meme. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really make sense to me either. If, you don't, if you're not interested in doing high school roleplays, why would you be interested in doing a Hogwarts roleplay? Like, it is a high school roleplay, it's just with magic. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really understand it at all. Don't understand it. it. Looks like a lot of the kittens went on top of the bed because I don't see all of them under the bed or laying there. Yeah, the difference would just be the plot. Um, I don't know. Kendra was referencing a um conversation that we had in the cafe where she had encountered. Some people that were not okay with doing high school role plays because of the age of the characters, but they were okay with doing Hogwarts role plays for some reason, which doesn't really make sense to me. They're the same age group, same thing. Like, if you're not interested in one, I would think you wouldn't be interested in both. You know what I mean? It's weird. It's really weird. Don't get it at all. Personally. But what do I know? <laughs> yeah, the difference would just be the plot, I think. The age of the characters wouldn't be different. That. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 
right? Like, I think that would make a lot of sense. Like, do a, a magic college or like, I don't know, when I did a lot of um, Harry Potter role plays, like, well, first of all, I was younger and I did do a bunch of Harry Potter role plays when I was you know, closer to that age. But, um, but the more recent Harry Potter role play I did, which actually was a long time ago now, like seven, eight years ago, but it was a Marauders era during the war, like post Hogwarts. So they were all adults. Um, like the youngest character we had was uh, 17, or 18, just graduated. So, you know, it wasn't, they weren't that age, even though it was set in that world, but it wasn't a Hogwarts role play. Like they didn't, they were never at Hogwarts <laughs> inside the story. <laughs> Oh, oh, that sounds really cool. I love that cheery pose. That's a lot of how I do plays as well. Um, very much that everyone gets to add something to the lore. Oh, stretchy. Time to go have a snack. It was very cute when all the kittens started um, weaning and eating the cat food and stuff like that. They only ate soft food for about a week before they graduated. The hard food, happy with that. Didn't really need the soft food anymore. They're very quick. Very quick little kittens. Oh, organic. That's a good word for it. it does sound really nice. So after this stream, we'll go back to regular baby cam where the points are just to get me to turn it on. Um, the baby cam though is still going to be on the on the maternity room, the cat room, right? That's going on right now, and uh, probably going to keep it on there until we get to you know the last day with the kittens before they go to um, so friends and family and the rest of the day. Giving a bath. But I hope y'all enjoyed this very special, um, big, I'll have to make sure I get some clips from when they were, so we can have some really good clips, uh, on my channel. <laughs> we all love the baby. They can get up on the bed easily now. And like the first time they did it, um, <laughs> we were like, how are they getting back down? And then I finally saw one of them do it. And they just like literally fling themselves off. Just bloop right onto the floor. Uh, wild child. They'd like hop up and cling. Yeah, like you can see one of them doing it right now. And then they'll just fling themselves off. <laughs> All right. So with that, let's switch over to Photoshop. Let's close our pets game. Yes, I do want to quit. Okay, and we're gonna do Pokemon chat so that y'all can see what's happening. There we go. Okay, so more Pokemon. We're gonna do some Gen 1 Pokemon this time. Y'all, we're gonna be done with this in a couple weeks. In a couple weeks, we're gonna, we're gonna be done with our closing meme. I don't know if we're gonna have another closing thing. I'm still thinking about that. What do we want to do for like closing out streams once we're done with the Pokemon? Okay, well first we're gonna look at, today we're gonna look at Gen 1. And we want to look at the bug Pokemon. Let's set this to Dex number, and here we go. The bug Pokemon in Gen 1, we've got the Caterpie line, the Weedle line, Paris line, Venonat line, we've got Scyther and Pinsir. So my favorite of the bug Pokemon for Gen 1 is the ever-popular Butterfree. I love Butterfree. I love this particular episode of the anime back from when I watched, actually watched the anime, you know, when it was in the beginning. Uh, I thought that this was, this was amazing. And I always used a Butterfree on, like, you get the Butterfree in Gen 1, like the original Gen 1, and it would learn Psychic. Yes. Okay. Let's scroll down and read about it. In battles, it flaps its wings at high speed, sees highly toxic dust into the air. Its wings, covered with poisonous powders, repel water. This allows it to fly in the rain. So here we go. There's our Gen 1 bug type right there. 
All right, the next thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at our Gen 1 grass types. All right, so the grass types, we've got the Bulbasaur line, the Oddish line, Paris line, again, um, Bell Sprout line, and Execute line, and Tangela. So my favorite of the grass Pokemon is Ivysaur. Yes, I know it's like a middle evolution, which is not a common choice for me, but I just love the, the rosebud on the back. I think that design is so cool of the, the middle evolution for the Bulbasaur line. So Ivysaur is my pick for the grass Pokemon. Let's scroll down and read it. When the bulb on its back grows large, it appears to lose the ability to stand on its hind legs. The bulb on its back grows by drawing energy. It gives off an aroma when it's ready to bloom. Yes, uh, Pokemon Snap is great. Did you download the new one, um, Cheerios? I did. It didn't really grab me, though, like the first one. I need to get back to playing it. I played it a bunch, um, but I need, to, I need to get back to it. There we go. There is our Gen 1 grass type. So next, let's look at our Gen 1 fire types. Y'all know my pattern, so you already know what my favorite fire type is going to be for Gen 1, but let's look at the choices. We've got the Charmander line, Bullpix line, Growlithe line, Ponyta line, Magmar, and Flareon. So I actually really love all the fire types in Gen 1. I think they're amazing. But who I actually like to choose for that fire slot is Charmander. So here we go. I always ran with Charmander in the beginning of the game. Like that was my main choice. Like almost every playthrough I've had of the first Pokemon, um, either Fire Red or Leaf Green or the regular Red and Blue, it, I would choose Charmander. He's my buddy. Obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip on its tail. The flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it. Place. Fire. Go. Oh, that's the Gen 1 fire type. Now, because I love so many of these fire types, I also like to use them in a couple of other slots. So, my favorite fire type, what I like to put in there, or sorry, yeah, my favorite fire type. One I like to put in there is Flareon. You know, I love the evolutions, and I put those all over on here. So Flareon is who I put in my favorite fire types, just like I do with the other Eevee. Let's read about him. When storing thermal energy in its body, its temperature could soar over 600 degrees. It has a flame chamber inside its body. It inhales, then blows out fire that's over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> so a little discrepancy there um, with the way that its temperatures work when it's like just uh, energy versus the fire. So that's interesting. There we go, Flareon in my favorite fire type. And then also a Gen 1 fire type. <laughs> uh, as far as um, my favorite for Gen 1, I absolutely love Vulpix. I think it is the cutest little Pokemon. I love the original. I love the Alolan version. I think they're adorable. So that's what I like to put in my favorite for Gen 1. Let's read about some Vulpix. At time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip as it grows older. Both its fur and its tails are beautiful. As it grows, the tails split and fit. So it multiplies its tails as it grows. There we go. Vulpix right there. And I think I actually very slightly prefer the design of the Alolan Vulpix, the Ice Vulpix, but because we're not doing Alolan Pokemon, except of course for our Rattata here, um, I put the, the regular fire design. But yeah, a few more weeks and we will be finished with this meet. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a new Pokemon Snap out on the Switch. You have got to try it if you like the original one. It's, uh, it's pretty similar. I mean, it's still like an, an on-rails game and you you photograph the Pokemon um, very very similar but uh, it was pretty good what I, I liked it so far all right so that's where we are with the Pokemon okay guys so thank you so much for joining me today I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the kittens all big and um, giving me a chance to show off my uh, one of my favorite childhood games it's not very streamable unfortunately 
uh, because it was really intended to play just a little bit every day. But I wanted to show it off on at least one stream because it, it was, that game was a huge part of my childhood. And, uh, and I saw that some of you guys had, uh, had played it before too. So that was really nice to see. Uh, and you know, so you know like the joys of this, that game that they should make more someday. <laughs> um, okay, so where can you find me? Here's all my socials. Right there in the chat. All of my different socials, places that you can find me, ways that you can support me, all that good stuff. Um, on Saturday, Inner Stage Window is going to be a Stardew Community Day. If you're interested in joining in on that, you need to get in the Discord and get the Farmer role, which is in the Special Access. There is instructions there that will help you know how you can join me on Saturday. That's for Inner Stage Window, which is noon to 2 Eastern Time. Uh, next week here on Artistic License, which starts at 6.30 Eastern, we are going to get back to Final Fantasy X. We are at the beginning now of what's actually considered the end of the game. So uh, lots of things going to be happening, lots of sad scenes, lots of um, threads getting wrapped up in that game. Really exciting stuff for the next stream. We are going to be uh, fighting another boss and getting started on the actual leg of, of Xanarkand, you know, the real Xanarkand, not the, the dream one, which we learned last time. That's what was going on. So that's what's next on Artistic License. Uh, let's find somebody to raid. It looks like Alpha Tiff is playing Stardew Valley, which feels appropriate since we are going to be playing Stardew Valley on Saturday. So let's actually go raid Alpha Tiff. All right, there we go. The raid is going. So y'all go give her a nice um, shout. Tell her um, that, uh, that we're excited to see some Stardew. And uh, I will see you guys on Saturday. All right, bye y'all. Have fun.